Joe Biden is the best president we've ever had. Prove me wrong. Oh my God, other people with mental illness, just like me. Wow, for you. <laughs> Let me try to vote. At first I thought, why is this video showing up for me? I am on the wrong side of the algorithm. And then I thought, LOL, JK, these are my people. When I'm with friends, I like to have fun, 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 fun. Really strong, juicy, substantial stories in entertainment news today that are the perfect cross-section of politics and pop culture, which is my favorite thing ever. Dwight Schrute, AKA actor Rain Wilson, tweeted a joke that people deemed transphobic, we'll discuss. One of your favorite stars from Breaking Bad says, we shouldn't complain about gas prices if we love capitalism. A Riverdale actor tried to kill Justin Trudeau and one of the most blatant examples of fake news and bias and fact-checking I've ever seen after this recent USA Today scandal. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Poplitics. My little t-shirt dress is actually brand new, tpusamerch.com if you're interested. Um, comes in lots of different sizes, but it is a t-shirt dress, so I'm not wearing a t-shirt as a dress, it's a t-shirt dress. It says America has a little American flag. If you want it, you can use code Alex. What the hell is that? A dress. Says who? Calvin Klein. Rain Wilson, who played arguably one of TV's most beloved characters of all time, Dwight Schrute, apologized after tweeting a joke many considered to be transphobic. It is your birthday period. It's a statement of fact. Not even an exclamation point? This is more professional. It's not like she discovered a cure for cancer. He had said, till you can no longer say nursing or breastfeeding mother, you have to say chest feeding person, just FYI. He meant it as a joke in response to recent public health guidelines the UK just released about using inclusive language for trans parents. Right now, yeah, we are having- talk louder. Okay, our prices have never been lower. Son, you have Certainly. to talk louder. Never been lower. Louder, I son! Butt liquor! Our prices have Please never stop. been lower! Okay, stop it! People didn't like his joke, so he deleted it and apologized saying, yesterday I tweeted a mean crack about breastfeeding versus chest feeding. After speaking with some trans friends and educating myself a bit more, I want to apologize for the tweet. It was adding to misinformation and meanness. I'm sorry. It'll just be a second. Oh, if onlys and justs were candies and nuts, then every day would be earned to donk fest. The next quarter are quite promising. Just an idea, but hey, Rain, maybe instead of talking to trans parents, you could just talk to actual women and nursing moms and educate yourself about why the term chest feeding is offensive and degrading to women. Okay, a little about me. I respond to strong leadership. Remember Hank from Breaking Bad? I was a huge Breaking Bad fan. I have watched that entire series over and over again, probably four or five times. Come on, take it. Yeah, check it out, Walt. No, no, it's... It's just heavy. That's why they hire men. <laughs> hey, it's not gonna bite you, all right? Looks like Keith Richards with a glass of warm milk. Then. <laughs> he tweeted, you're not getting robbed at the pump. You're paying fair market price for a commodity. If you love capitalism so much, then STFU. How about if you're a Hollywood celebrity who doesn't live in the real world with real economic hardships, you STFU. Any diehard Riverdale cute conservatives out there? If so, you all are real ones because that show has fallen off the deep end. I'm a weirdo. Well, one of its previous cast members, Ryan Grantham, also fell off the deep end in a very dark way. He turned himself in to Vancouver police after executing his mother in their home while she was playing the piano. He then surrounded her body with candles while he watched Netflix and planned his next move, which was to kill Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. He stocked up on Molotov cocktails, guns, ammunition, and even drove some of the way to where the Prime Minister lives before turning around. Thankfully, no one else was hurt. Every time the fake news is proven to be even more fake, I just sit back and soak in the we told you so moment because isn't it just so nice? I told you so. Story time. USA Today is catching some heat because 23 articles written by a former reporter have been proven to be, you guessed it, fake news. She misquoted people, cited people that had nothing to do with whatever she was reporting on, and in some cases, she just flat out fabricated information. Are you high or just incredibly stupid? 
Now, USA Today is promising to take all kinds of steps to verify information going forward and make it easier for people to request corrections. You know, letting readers question the material they're reading like during normal times. USA Today is a major news source. This is an actual misinformation and it's totally unacceptable. And of course, USA Today is one of the main fact checkers for Facebook. This all just proves that we should be allowed to question the truth behind the news that is mass produced. Will you confirm or deny? Every other outlet and platform should audit themselves. These people are truth phobic. They hate the truth, they discriminate against the truth, and they're afraid of the truth. It's time they looked in the mirror to see how ugly their fat bias really is. Anyway, one day I wake up and I look in the mirror and I don't like what I see. So it looks like a lot has been going on in Hollywood recently. If you're still here, don't forget to heart this episode. Give it a thumbs up on YouTube if you're watching there. Let me know if you still love Rain Wilson after his apology or you're like, this is absolutely a joke. Nonsense. Also tell me in the comments the first thing you watched or read that raised an immediate fake news flag. Send this episode to a diehard Riverdale fan and tap the save button. We're back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. It's pop culture without the propaganda every single day. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Poplitics. Clearly, Poplitics is best served visually, but you can also listen to Poplitics if you just want the audio. Subscribe to us anywhere you get your podcasts. Apple, Spotify, iHeart, TuneIn, and more. Also, make sure that if you are listening to the podcast version, you leave us a five-star review. And don't forget, subscribe to Poplitics on YouTube.